Arisha Luam, first and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Harachakwadash, all right, the bondage of the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who were well and taught us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings be to you, hopefully, elect the Hatipish, not this word of thought, truth, and sincerity. <coughs> to you, I keep my say Shalom. All right, so this video is going to be entitled, or practically expendable. I wish that word expendable, if you look into the definition of it, that word expendable means of little significance when compared to an overall purpose and therefore able to be abandoned. All right. And we always say that this truth is bigger than all of us, man. All right, because ultimately we don't even know what we're, what, what we're dealing with after all. All right, here it is. We're, we're prophesying to you about the about the second coming of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. All right, and he's coming back in his full, full on glory, man. All right, a beautiful majestic power we can't even fathom. So, you know, it is basically an overall purpose, you know, and we're just of a, a, a little significance. You know how East always be trying to, you know, um, let the facts sink in that we're nothing but a speck in the universe. It's like with this truth, man. All right, we're of little significance when compared to this overall truth, man. All right, we're able to be banded because we always seen men fall out of this thing, man. All right, you got people, you got certain men that, that talk to, you know, that, that prophesied against their own tongue. All right, that's real, man. You, you, you had some guy, you know, you, you had some guy talk about how, you know, people fall out. A week later, he, they fall out, man. All right, that's not a lie because that's actually happened before, and that makes us scared, you know. You know that, that just adds a whole level of fear, you know, unto us. Unto, as why we should fear you, how about Shaman was shine? We should serve him with fear and trembling. All right, we should humble down ultimately, man. All right, that's what this whole thing is about. You know, humbling down, you know, departing from, from your wickedness, turning back to the Heavenly Father, you how about Shaman was shine? Repenting. Repenting comes with slacky. Yeah, come, repenting. Repenting comes with humility. You're not just going to privately turn back and say, you know, being all high when they're saying, oh, Father, he, you know, forgive me. No, man, no. All right, this thing takes patience and, and, and humility. All right, it takes a clear mind to actually, you know, um, get down on your knees with your arms lifted up and, and pray properly, man. Now, I have to say you can't pray anywhere, anytime. You can pray while walking. You can pray while, while you're sleeping. You know, that's how I can be escaping them um, sleep paralysis demons, you know. Praying, you know, you know, either way, it doesn't matter if you, um, you know, on face the east and, and kneel down with your arms up, or you could pray anywhere, as the as the the, the apostles always say, you know, or right, the other apostle, um, Racha even said that in a lesson he did a while back. But you know, we're basically of little significance, man. All right, so lucky, but one of the vexing things is the fact that you know Satan really be bugging, man. All right, the amount of times I've recorded this video, you know, but nevertheless, we're going to get it in. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, the ninth chapter, verse 16. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. All right, that's right. We have nothing to boast about just because we preach this gospel. All right, we're just expendable vessels. Nothing else, nothing more. You know, nothing else, nothing less. Just expendable. All right, you, you, you got the same mindset within the military, all right? And one thing that comes to mind is, all right, Star Wars, Star Wars, the Clone Wars. All right, you had a couple Clone Wars say we're nothing, we're expendable, all right? You know, because they understood that they were, that they were of little significance. So again, for the I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me. And that word necessity goes back to the Greek word, anake, which means necessity imposed either by the circumstances or by law of duty you know regarding to one's advantage custom argument so this is our due diligence you know our our purpose all right the scriptures even talk about how the duty of man is to fear you how one keep his commandments and if you actually have the understanding or i have the spirit to understand when it talks about the duty of man it's not referring to all nations it's referring to the israelite man because this is who this truth is directed for man 
And that's not to say that these nations won't hear. All right, Isaiah 34 and 1. I know the scriptures even talk about how these nations will hear after all we're in the great melting pot. Right? So, you know, of course they're going to overhear us. You know, we're also preaching unto, unto these great kingdoms about the trouble that's coming their way. But that's for another lesson. It goes on to say, for necessity is laid upon me. Are it's required of us to come out there in the highways and hedges and teach. You know, yea, woe is unto me. And that word woe is an archaic term for the word destruction. All right, so, so um, you know, Paul is saying destruction unto me if I preach not the gospel. So woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. You know, to extrap extra extrapolate. You know, if you're a prophet, you know, which lower with those men. If you are born, all right, what's your purpose? What's your destiny? To prophesy again. All right, if you're a prophet and, and you're born on this side and, and you're not doing what you're allotted, you're not, you're not fulfilling your, your, your lot, well, then you're through, man. All right, because the Lord's going to destroy you then. Because you, 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 have, you have no reason being in this side, man. You have no reason being on the earth. All right, you're, you're just going to be taken back to the spirit world. Then, you know, because you're not fulfilling your lot, which is a preach. You know, so what was under me if I preached not the gospel? And the Lord is a very terrible power, man. All right. The other Chazak Yala. All right, lucky, But as the other Chazak Yala, more than seven years ago, saying, if you're the elect, man, the Lord can F you up, man. You know, because the Lord is a very terrible power. You know, and when he turns that cold shoulder, man, whole oh boy is a ruthless, you know. But anyways, going on in verse 17, it reads, For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward, and that's a thing. We don't do this, we, we don't do this thing willingly, man. Alright, we got no free we got we not we got no free choice. We got no free will. Alright, as the scriptures say, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. So likewise, in general, all hearts, which that word heart goes back to the Hebrew word lie, which means mine. All minds go back, you know, all minds are in the hand of the Lord. So the Lord's the one directing our steps, man. So we even talk about how man devises his ways, but the Lord directed his steps. So the Lord's in control here, man, not us. So if I do this thing willingly, I reward. So the Lord, you know, we, we, we don't do this of ourselves, but the Lord's the one giving us a spirit to go out to the highways and hedges and teach. Uh, the Lord's giving us a spirit to, you know, receive this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which is not given to all men. But regardless, man, you know, we're expendable. You know, because many are a couple few are chosen, so... But if against my will, and this thing is is our against against our will. Here it is, man. Akim was smoking. You know, Akim was doing a whole manner of just BS. But, you know, um, when we came to this thing, and we became we, we reformed from we became reformed from our from our wicked ways. What happened, man? Alright. We we changed, man. You know, when it stands the spirit how about Shimon was shy. Or not of us, but if against my will, dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. And that word dispensation in the Greek, it means, uh, you know, dispensation means the management of a household or of household slakia. You know, the Greek word is oikonomia, oikonomia, and it means the management of a household or of household affairs. All right, specifically in the management oversight administration of others property the office of a manager or overseer stewardship you know and hey, we're basically stewards in this truth you know so going on if i do this thing willingly i have a reward but if against my will i have a dispense like a, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me what is my reward then verily that when i preach the gospel i may make the gospel of the anointed without charge and what do you got these false prophets out there doing Alright, they be selling the truth already. Right, you got Sakari over there. They literally be, you know, encouraging Jay to go on Patreon, you know, paying a certain amount of money to receive this truth. Just off, man. Alright, likewise, for IOSC, they actually make you pay hundreds of dollars just to receive this truth on a freaking CD. But the thing is, it ain't the true doctrine. Alright, so I may make the gospel the anointed without charge that I'm abused, not my power in the gospel. Alright, and I want to get out the, the, the good news translation. So, the book of 1 Corinthians, the 9th chapter, and the GMB, or good news translation, it's, I have no right to boast just because I preach the gospel. Hey, see, after all, I am under orders to do so, you know? And how terrible it would be for me if I did not preach the gospel. And yeah, man. Alright, that, that's self-explanatory, man. You, you don't even have to, you know, it's just, you know, you already know, man. 
If I did my work as a matter of free choice, then I could expect to be paid. But I do it as a matter of duty because Yahweh has entrusted me with this task. You know? So we've been entrusted with this task, you know. We 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 we, we became stewards, you know, <clears throat> through the spirit. So now when I get out the book of Luke, this seventh chap the seventeenth chapter, hey, we got nothing to glory of, man. Why right, this thing this this thing ain't of ourselves. All right, Yahweh Bashim wish I give us a spirit to, you know, to go to the highways and just teach. <clears throat> so you want to be out there, you know, saying that, oh, I'm this and that and the third. I'm a, man, get that out of here, man. You know? And I'm telling myself first and foremost, this less, you know, I end up thinking that way, man. You can't be prideful in this thing, man. You know, so the book of Luke, the 17th chapter, verse 7. But which of you, having a servant, and we're that servant, you know, plowing or feeding the cattle, and what are we, what are we out here doing? With these lessons we're pushing out daily. All right, feeding the sheep, man. Feeding the, feeding the flock. Yahweh Shai even said, feed my sheep, feed my sheep, feed my sheep. Thrice, man. All right. But which of you having a servant plowing or feeding cattle will say unto him by and by when he has come from the field, go and sit down to me. And will not rather say unto him, make ready wherewith I may sup and gird thyself and serve me till I have eaten and drunken. And afterward thou shalt eat and drink. Why? Because, you know, we're not supposed to be glorified first. Yahweh Shai is, man. Yahweh Yahweh Shai is to be glorified first. All right, they're the powers, man. All right, they're, they're greater than us, man. All right, Yahweh Shai already went through the worst tale, and, and, and you want to be boasting in first? Well, well, who are you, man? All right, Yahweh Shai is to be glorified first. You know, then you got the words in the kingdom, if it be the Lord's will. All right, it even talks about in Zephaniah, the third chapter, if I'm not mistaken, verse 9. I shall give him praise and fame in the land where... Or with, they shot, or, they, or with they have been put to shame. Okay, so we're going to get our, our due praises, man. But now this side, what the hell are you talking about, man? This ain't our rest. You know, wanting, wanting to be glorified in the, in the same rulership, Esau, you know, under Esau's rulership, man. Man, you got to be a crazy clown, to, you know, if you have that mindset. So we're not rather saying that him make ready wherewith I may sup and hurt thyself and serve me to life eating and drunken. And afterward thou shalt eat and drink. Doth he thank that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I troll not, and this is in the red letter, man. So yeah, I wish I speaking. And now we're trolls, our carry term for the word think or believe. And you, you, you got the teacher from the incredible, incredibles, burning crops saying, I think not. That's, that's what Yahweh Shai is saying, man. All right, does he thank the servant? Does he thank that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I troll not, you know. So likewise, he, when ye shall have done all these things, which are commanded you, say we are unprofitable servants, man. All right, we're expendable, in other words, man. Little significance, man. All right, and what these Christians have to tell you is that, that, that you are special. You are not get out of here, man. All right, you know, we're, we're nothing but unprofitable servants, man. We have done that which was our duty to do. All right, you got you got clowns out there like Sicario over there. You know, they 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 be boasting in this truth, man. You know, like 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 they're important, man. You guys are nothing but niggas, man. Niggas with, with, with shirts and fringes. I mean, fringed shirts, you know? Fringed polo shirts, fringed t shirts, man. You know? And, and boasting's gonna get you killed, man. Boasting's gonna get, the, get you destroyed. That's a terrible thing, man. A terrible fate. So, this is the book of Revelation, the second chapter, verse 5. And what these people have to do is that they, they have to claim that, like, you know, they have all this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which in reality they don't. You know? And. and they never received them themselves in the first place. So Revelation the second chapter verse five, and if you know if you know the history, you know what went down was that, you know, um, Yahweh Shai had John write down, you know, write down letters to the seven churches. And in this case, being the church at Ephesus, why? Because he was a Yahweh Shai was addressing the faults of these churches. And it goes on to say, remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, you know, from the degree that they fell down, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick. And that candlestick is symbolic for the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding out of his place, except thou repent. Hey, see, so if you don't repent, man, it wasn't a, that candlestick, man, because it's not of ourselves. We didn't receive this thing. All right? You know, um, so like, we didn't receive this thing for ourselves, so like, yeah. We received it by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Or he's the one that gave us a spirit, man. Not of ourselves. Another thing we have to, you know, stick in them to our mind. That's not of ourselves. That's why it says, 
or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of this place except thou repent. Oh yeah, I wish I said that, man. All right, because we didn't receive we didn't receive any of this by ourselves, but Yahweh was shy. You know, so you know, if he has the power to 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 blot out this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, that, that will show you that it's from them, not from us. You know, so we can't be boasting, glorifying this thing. Oh yeah, I go to teach, man. Well, so what, man? The amount of people that ended up falling out, but they taught, man. They prophesied against their own tongue as well. All right, they still taught. Well, are they great as well? No. You know, so this is the book of Matthew, the fifth chapter, verse 14. You know, a quick precept to back up that the candlestick is really the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, Matthew 5 and 14. And the Spirit really made me get that out. So, neither do men light a candle. So, like, yeah, ye are the light of the world. I right, wish I said that, you know, because we hold the answers. All right, but at the same time, you know, knowledge puffeth up. So, you know, you got to be humble in this thing, man. All right, the scriptures even talk about how knowledge puffeth up. All right, there are people out there that, that really boast and, 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 and try to be this smart, smart, you know, smart, smart guy, man. We really ain't smart because you're not you're not being wise, man. Because these he, people out here, you know, they they overdo it, man. So you're the light of the world. The city that is set on the hill cannot be hid. So we have the answers, man. But the Lord, at the same time, can you know put out that light. You know, so it's a very fearful thing, you know, to um be prideful, man. You know, and these people are prideful as hell, man. That's why the Lord's coming here to destroy. Hey, look, Ecclesiastes the tenth chapter verse seventy and says. Pride is hateful before Yahweh and men. And by both the one commit iniquity. Alright, and I wanted to get this chapter and start with verse 18, so. Um, yeah, verse 18. Pride was not made for men, nor furious anger for them that are born of a woman. Why? Because if you're born of a woman, you're nothing but a mere mortal, a mere man. Alright, uh, somebody in the flesh. Alright, who is he to go, you know? Toe to toe against the omnipotent power who could literally just like smite you in an instant, man. Are you nothing, man? We're nothing, man. Nothing, nothing more, nothing less. We're just expendable, and that, that's why we hope to be the like, man. Hope to be delivered. Although we, hey, because we're, we're, we're through, man. We're through the, we're through, through the law, or all of us, because we all sin. So, you know, we all hold accountable. You know, but lower, lower, we get to receive the sharp mercies of David. Why? Because what what an example would be how 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 David committed adultery back in the ancient world, and what happened? He didn't go he didn't get put to death. Why? Because that was that was the Lord's chosen. All right, in Acts, I forget which chapter it was, but it talked about how David, a man of mine heart, which that word mean heart goes back to the Hebrew word la, la which means mine, because that, that was the Lord's favorite. All right, you know, underneath the house shut. You know, so, you know, e even David said, you know, um, the Sherman is a David that the elect will receive it. So, though we, 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 we're worthy, like, man. All right, though, though we, we actually do receive the salvation, man. Because not everybody's going to make it, you know. So, there's a book of, the book of Isaiah, the 55th chapter, verse 3. Incline your ear and come unto me here, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the Sherman is a David. You know, but anyways, I thought this video was edifying. You know, Lord, will we continue to push? You know, first and foremost, I want to take all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. And His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Bahasham Haracha Kodash. All right, the bonus to the apostles and elders, every Muslim who rule well. And taught us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings spent to you who like that to push not this world of thought, truth, and sincerity. To you, I give my say, Shalom.